Welcome to Build Edge. I am Key Mark Product Manager Aaron Dietzen, and I want to walk you through the process of inputting and editing floors in Build Edge Plan 3.0. I'm going to hop into SketchUp here. I have a couple of walls drawn. Uh, just kind of use as an example of how I'm going to put floors into a, a building. I'm going to start by clicking on floors in the UI. Uh, my user interface shows up. You see, the properties for floors are pretty basic. I have the ability to control where the floor lies. Am I going to be drawing the bottom and then the bulk of the floor goes up from where I'm drawing? Or do I want to switch that and say top down? So I'm going to draw the top of the floor and have the bulk fall down. I'm going to start the bottom up floor. Uh, my overall depth, one foot. Again, I'm working in imperial units, but build edge plan will use whatever units your SketchUp is set up for. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw a quick floor. And all I do with the floor is I draw a polygon as many sides as you want and when I draw the last side it shows me my floor. The floor is just a, basically a slab based on the polygon I just created. A couple things happen right here, you know, it did draw your uh, dr draw this slab popping up. It did also jump into x-ray. As a default, as soon as I finish drawing a floor, it's going to jump into an x-ray mode. This is intentional I'll see this a little more clearly when I'm looking at uh, actually drawing a floor on top of walls, but the x-ray mode allows me to actually see through the building, see where the outline is, that sort of thing. So it is intentional. We do hop into x-ray mode as soon as you finish drawing a floor. Uh, once that floor is drawn, I can finish by either hitting save changes, which says this floor is good, I want to exit and do something else, or abandon changes, which says I made a mistake, throw that out, I want to try again. So I'm going to hit save changes real quick and I'll see I do x-ray vision is turned back off again. I'm back to standard view uh, and I have my floor here. If at any point I want to make a change in that floor, I can select it and hit edit outline. I can come in here and first thing I do is I can say, well, I actually want a two foot deep floor. I can change it to two feet I can hit apply changes and my floor increases in depth. I can also come in and make changes to individual lines. I can grab this line right here, for example, and move it. I'll pull it out like that. I'll grab this one right here and pull it out. Or I can come in and say, I want to delete this line. I delete a line by picking on it and hitting the trash can. Once I do that, I break my polygon. I only have three sides and then an open side, so my floor goes away. To get it back, all I have to do is draw in enough lines to complete that polygon again and my floor comes back. Again, if I'm good with that, I can hit the check mark. All right, so I'm going to go draw a floor on top of these walls right now. I'm going to go into floors and I'm going to hit draw, do a one foot deep floor and I'm going to click point to point. Now when I draw a line, you'll see it turns blue. That blue line indicates that that edge of the floor is going to be connected to that piece of wall. So if I come over here on the side, I want to actually have like a little bit of a cantilever right here and have a two foot cantilever and type in two foot as I'm drawing. I get a pink line at that point. The pink line is not connected to any wall. The blue lines are. That means if I go in and I move one of these walls, the section of floor above it's going to go along with it. Whereas these pink lines are just relative to this XYZ axis and have no locking or connections to any of the walls. So you see if I click back on a wall again, I get another blue line that locks me to that wall. Now drawing lines is one of the ways I can input a floor. The other option I have is to hit this little down arrow underneath my uh, draw command and I have a pop-up from which I can choose oops, pick line. I'm going to choose pick line and rather than draw these lines individually, I can just pick on the face of a wall and it'll draw a line across it. This is a real quick way, not the quickest, but a quick way to get a floor in. So I'm going to click and again as soon as I close I'm going to hop into x-ray and get a preview of my floor. There we go. If that looks good, I hit the check mark. There's my floor. Like I said before, I can take and move these walls that had blue lines on top of them and the floors will come with. So that, that is my connectivity. If I move this wall right here, see these cantilever walls didn't move because they're not connected to anything. 
Looks good. I like that, but I'm going to delete it so I can teach you something else. I said that uh, that was not the quickest way to draw in a floor. There's actually a quicker way. And that is with this auto outline. If I click auto floor, anytime I move my mouse over a set of connected walls that close a polygon, a closed set of walls, and click, it will automatically outline that floor with a wall. Outline that wall with a floor. See, there's my all my walls. Quick, easy, simple to input. Now, connectivity goes beyond the walls and floors vertically, my floor being on top of my wall. The other thing that this will do is allow me to put a wall on top, my second story like this. And if I move this first floor wall, the floor above will come, and then the wall above that floor will come along for the ride too. So I actually create a full connected house as I put these members in vertically. For more information or questions, feel free to email us at buildedgejetkeymark.com or visit us online at www.buildedge.com. Thank you.